Hello and welcome to a new video about AC. Last time we talked about the series circuit of R and L huh? and the series circuit of R and C. These are our two findings and today we want to discuss how it looks like if we have a series circuit of R, L and C. Well, I'm just doing the, the pointer diagram now, but I will do it exactly the same way as we've done it here. So I say my combining element is my eye and my eyes go in this direction. Here is my eye and that's it. Huh? Here is my eye. Hmm? Of course I have an UR and the, of course the UR is also going in this direction. This direction is UR. Here we have UR. All right. Of course, UL is going up in this direction. Of course, UC is going down in this direction. And of course, it is valid that all the sum of all U's are U. So I have just to make it like that. Huh? And here we have a U. Huh? Here's my U. And my U equals UR plus UL plus UC. Right? And here again have my my face, my phi. This is negative in this case. So we are acting like we're acting more capacitive. Okay? So the capacitor is winning. Winning. Has a longer, longer voltage. If the if the Inductance would win, then the inductance would have a longer voltage. Huh? From what is the length of those things depending? Well, from the from the reactances of those two things. And we have the, the values of the elements. So we have some L, some millihenry, I don't know. We have a C, some microfarad or millifarad or, or picofarad or whatever. Yeah? And we have always this omega in there. Omega L and 1 divided by omega C. Huh? And there is a certain omega yeah, where those two reactances are the same. Yeah. So and then this means UL and UC are exactly leveling each other because they are, this have the same length. One positive, one negative. And if you make the sum, U equals UR and everything looks fine from the outside. Yeah. But what is going on inside, we cannot really tell, because actually if this, if this length of those pointers, they can be tremendous, they can be enormous. From outside I don't see anything. The voltages inside of UL and UC, if they level each other, cannot see. This thing is called resonance. This is a resonance effect. Now let's write down resonance. And the condition of resonance, I already told, this means the reactance of my coil equals the reactance of my capacitor. Yeah? And we have here at a certain frequency F0. This is the resonance frequency. Resonance frequency. Okay. Now let's, what is XL? XL is omega L. What is xc? 1 divided by omega c. Yeah? And if I if those are the same, I have it a resonance circle of frequency. Yeah? Omega 0. So here I have here written omega 0 squared is L 1 divided by C. Yeah? So omega 0 squared equals 1 divided by L C. Yeah? So my omega 0 is 1 divided by the square root of LC. That's the resonance frequency. Circular frequency, if you want to have the frequency, 2 pi F0 equals omega 0. Huh? That's the combination. It repeats by seconds, rad per second, multiplied with 2 pi, 2 pi full angle. All right? So F0 equals Omega 0 divided by 2 pi. Yeah? So this is 1 divided by 2 pi square root of LC. 
this, this, this is the resonance frequency. Yeah? This is what might happen. This is what might happen. Uh, resonance, what, what can happen? Yeah? UL and UC can have extremely high values. Okay? I don't mean I don't see it from outside, inside. A lot of things again are going on. And I is limited by R. I has its maximum value at at omega zero. So there the I is maximum. If you operate this at a certain voltage, I as its maximum value at omega zero. You can think about that the energy which is stored in the electric field is transferred to the coil stored in the magnetic field and vice versa. So those two are whoop, 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 uh, the, the energy which is stored in them, they are shifted to each other and this will swing. Then this is working best at this uh, resonance frequency, then it's perfectly working. <laughs> And those things can be really extremely high. Yeah. So that's the serious circuit of R, L, and C. Um, I think this effect of the resonance should be mentioned. Yeah. I that we can manage to draw this and even calculate this. I believe. Meanwhile, yeah, I trust our our possibilities. And but this resonance uh, things effects. So. Serious circuit, check, right? Next part are uh, parallel circuits. Parallel circuits. Next video is about parallel circuit of R and L. Let's start also again with R and L, but in parallel and see what is happening there. Huh? For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.